have done a better job. The woman, as you see, got her necklace back. The thief dropped it before taking off. A Panorama City girl is headed to Vatican City tomorrow for a meeting with Pope Francis. She's part of a group of Southland residents who will talk with the Holy Father about immigration. CBS 2's Serene Branson has that story. I am excited because I never thought to meet someone like super amazing like Pope Francis. Ten-year-old like, Jersey Vargas of Panorama City was born in California to undocumented immigrants from Mexico. She says last year her father was pulled over and taken in for not having identification. My dad, he's now with immigration in, uh, I, in, I think in Indiana. And I'm very scared that they're going to deport him. That's why the fourth grader is one of two children traveling to Vatican City with a group of 17 from the LA area as part of the Full Rights for Immigrants Coalition. When I'm going to meet Pope Francis, since he loves children, I hope he could hear us out loud and try to uh, and try to change Obama's mind so he could actually help us too. When it was first proposed back in November, it seemed like you got to be kidding. Juan Gutierrez is the trip coordinator and said the sit down with Pope Francis became reality thanks to L.A. Archbishop Jose Gomez. Okay. It comes just before the Pope's meeting with President Obama. They're hoping the Pope takes a specific stance on U.S. policy to grant amnesty to immigrants and urges Mr. Obama to break up the logjam in Congress. I think that there is no one better than the Pope to frame the issue in a human dimension that can be understood by everybody concerned. Of course, immigration opponents don't support the meeting. A spokesperson for Fair USA told us they understand the Pope's compassion, but what the Pope and other religious leaders often overlook is the impact of mass immigration, particularly illegal immigration on struggling workers in the receiving countries. The church can only be charitable with its own resources. The group boards their flight for Rome tomorrow night. In Panorama City, Serene Branson, CBS 2 News. Serene, thanks. President Obama has accepted an invitation to give the commencement address at UC Irvine's 2014 graduation.